The challenge that John set is really how we, well, where we go next with Moonstone, and that is the um, virtual power plant world. Something that everyone talks about as being something that's coming in the future. And we're basically saying, no, it's today. It's, let's deliver it today. We've got batteries, we've got the infrastructure. Why can't we have virtual power plants? Why can't we think today about turning off the, the main power stations and using batteries in the home, batteries in the car? What, what we find really a little bit frustrating is the fact that this can happen today. The power stations and the power companies can do it today. They have the technology. We have the technology in this house. People have this technology, they have battery storage in their cars, they have 75, 90 kilowatt batteries in their cars. The technology is here now. So the big power energy delivery companies can do it today. The frustration is they're not. So we're trying to push the idea forward to drive it to make this change happen. Uh, we've installed now a further 60 kilowatts of uh, solar panels, which are then charging these three and a bit kilowatt Duracell energy banks. We have got one, two, three, four, five at the moment. That has a capacity of five times eight, 15 kilowatts. So you've got five batteries and we've just got 15 kilowatts of actually battery storage, which we can then use for the house. So what are we actually gonna do with this excess energy? First, we get paid by the fit tariff on our original installation, around about 50p a kilowatt, which we are very lucky, but we had to spend a lot of money in the early stages. Now what we're going to do is export to the grid, get paid 5p a kilowatt or 5.5p a kilowatt using the um, smart export guarantee payment. So I get paid, but I can't use the energy because I've got too much and Moonstone is very low, as we've heard before, 500 watts to run a 7,000 square foot, 17,000 square foot home. So we're going to take the power to my local school. So what a concept. We generate too much, we get paid a tiny little bit of money from the government. We're going to take those batteries and physically take the things to the school, discharge them, bring them back, recharge them, discharge them, recharge them, discharge them. Come on, utility companies, I'm sure you can work out a scheme using credits and stuff to do this much easier. Now, each one of those is three kilowatts. Over here, we have a Tesla power walls which are 13 kilowatts and roughly about the same weight. I've lifted these things, they're bloody heavy, but they're 13 kilowatts. So at the top, we've got five energy power banks at the moment, which is a total of, if the mass is right, 15 kilowatts of storage. In one of those units, we've got 13 kilowatts. In two, we've got 26 kilowatts. But what is really exciting is in this vehicle, we've got 75 kilowatts of power. So. Just in a very short period of a few minutes, the energy density of the battery traditional storage going to a Tesla Powerwall, going to a car, makes perfect sense. We'd rather have 25 energy banks, we just have one car. So we'll take that car to the school and decharge it. Tesla, the alarm. So with 75 kilowatts of available power, we can discharge that power using vehicle to grid directly into communities, hospitals, care homes, schools, and we can start sharing our power. So that's a vehicle to grid system, job done, period.
when the car turns up at the school, there's two options. You can do the reverse of this. Um, if the school had energy storage, like the Tesla Powerwall or another battery storage, you can charge from the car to the battery storage, or you can just use it live. So just basically feed the, the power requirement of the school directly from the car. So if all the teachers had battery Teslas, uh, they could all turn up, they could all plug in, and they could charge the school while they're there. So then, simple process, we keep repeating it again and again and again. Tesla charges here, free electricity, drive it back down to the school, discharge it, vehicle to grid, come back here, recharge it, discharge it, recharge it, discharge it, do it a million times! Or it's even simpler than that, if you get the utility companies on board, because they can use that virtual power, virtual credits, what I generate here, just digitally, very simply, credit that into the school's account or the community centre or the hospital, whatever. And just think where we could go with this. How about giving every teacher a Tesla as part of their job description? So they all get Teslas, they all get to charge at home, they all get to bring it in, into school every day and charge their school. So every teacher, new, basically a new policy, they all get a Tesla.